Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing bald eagles. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to learn more about the animals of our Earth. Bald eagles were a request by Aiden's Puppet Productions 2003, so let's get to talking about these majestic birds. Bald eagles are considered to be sea eagles, and their scientific name is Heliaetus leucocephalus. Whew, try saying that five times fast. Broken down, their name means sea eagle white head, and I'm sure you can probably guess why. The bald in a bald eagle's common name is derived from the word piebald, which is really just an indicator of two different colors, usually black and white. So when someone says bald eagle, she doesn't literally mean an eagle that is without head feathers, but rather an eagle that has some contrasting colors. This is because adult bald eagles have stark white heads and tails against dark brown body feathers. Their eyes, beaks, and legs are yellow in color. Juvenile bald eagles do not have these distinct markings though, and can easily be confused with similar looking golden eagles. Juveniles will retain mottled brown and white markings until they're fully matured at about five years of age. When they've reached this point, they're ready to mate. Bald eagles will remain with the same mate until one of the couple dies, at which point the survivor will find a new mate. The female, who is often larger than her bird brain mate, lays between one to three eggs in a nest, constructed by both parents, that will be reused for the next breeding season. Both parents also incubate the eggs during the 35 or so days that they need to develop. Once they hatch, the babies remain in the nest for about two and a half months, depending on their geographical location. They'll fledge after that and stay under the guidance of their parents for a few more weeks before setting off on their own. Bald eagles will reuse nests each breeding season and they can live to be nearly 50 years of age, though in the wild the average is closer to 20. Over the past century, bald eagles have faced the brink of extinction. In the 1960s, there were noted to be less than 500 mating pairs in the wild. Shortly after, bald eagles were put on the endangered species list. Their numbers have grown over time, and in 2007 they were removed from the endangered species list, one of only 56 species to be removed from a list of over 2,000. So they have quite the survival story. Today, they're still covered by the Bald and Golden Eagle Protection Act and the Migratory Bird Treaty Act since their numbers are still not what they once were. Bald eagles are the only eagles native solely to North America. Maybe this is part of why they were chosen as the national bird for the United States of America. Some people actually take offense at using bald eagles as the national bird of the United States, because they're kind of bullies. See, bald eagles are opportunistic eaters. They'll just as soon catch their own fish as they will steal the fish of someone else. They'll also happily dine on dead fish. Fish are their favorite food, which is good because they are almost exclusively found near bodies of water, but they'll also eat other birds and mammals if it comes to it. They're found throughout the continent of North America, with larger individuals living further north. Some have suggested that there are two subspecies of bald eagles, northern bald eagles and southern bald eagles, but this isn't necessarily verified, and frankly, bald eagles migrate, so that just makes everything all the more muddled. And no, they don't migrate to escape cold weather. Their feathers are well equipped to keep them cozy no matter where they are in their home range, but they do migrate for food. In colder climates, food can be scarce, so to ensure there's enough to go around, they'll pack up and leave until the weather warms up. In size, bald eagles are the second largest bird of prey in North America, falling behind the California condor. Their wingspan is 6.5 feet on average, which surpasses the wingspan of the great blue herons we discussed on a previous episode. Typically, they weigh about 10 pounds. Also, if you think that bald eagles sound like this, then you probably haven't watched our red-tailed hawk episode, which I'd recommend. In reality, bald eagles sound a little something like this. For more facts on bald eagles, take a look at the links in the description. How do you feel about bald eagles? Let us know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time on Animal Fact Files. Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing golden eagles. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on Animal Fact episodes. Golden eagles are the largest bird of prey in North America, and they hold the honor of representing many different countries as their national animal. Golden eagles occur in the Northern Hemisphere, throughout North America, Asia, Europe, and Africa. They get their name from their golden head and neck feathers. And in North America, they are often mixed up with their similar looking cousin, the bald eagle, in its juvenile plumage.
As we discussed in our episode on bald eagles, juvenile bald eagles don't have the characteristic bald head of their adult conspecifics. It's not unusual for someone to mislabel a juvenile bald eagle as a golden eagle, but there are a few distinctions that can be made to separate the two. Location can be quite important, as golden eagles are only commonly seen in the western US. The eastern US is considered a migration area, and golden eagles are typically only found there during winter months. Also, golden eagles have furry legs all the way down to their feet. Bald eagles are more risque by showing off their ankles. Either way, seeing one of these birds in the wild can be awe-inspiring. Golden eagles are acrobats of the air, and can dive 150 miles per hour to catch prey. Although these birds are able to catch and kill larger animals, such as deer and foxes, they more commonly take smaller prey items, such as hares, squirrels, and prairie dogs. I feel like we should just be thankful that they don't generally go after larger prey items, because I'm pretty sure those talons would rip right through our soft, fleshy bodies. Just saying. Golden eagles also fend off wolverines and grizzly bears, trying to take their young from their nests. Though sometimes they aren't successful. Golden eagles also perform aerobatic stunts during mating season. It's thought that golden eagles stick with the same partner, perhaps even for life, and oftentimes the males will perform feats to attract his lady's attention. The female will join him, and they'll make dives together in the air. Golden eagle nests are built by both parents, usually high up on cliff sides or in large trees. A couple will often reuse a nest each year, though they may have many nests throughout their territory. The female will lay one to four eggs over the course of a few days, and the chicks will develop under the incubation of both parents. They'll begin flying within about three to four months. The young eagles will leave to find their own territory, defending it fiercely. Golden eagles aren't exactly neighborly, and will attack an intruder within their home range. They can live to be more than 30 years old. The best place for a golden eagle is a wide open area, with hills, cliffs, or sporadic tall trees for perching. Golden eagles will survey the land for potential prey items, able to turn their heads as much as an owl. Unlike owls, however, golden eagles have pretty crummy night vision, and are thus generally diurnal. Their prey of small mammals helped protect golden eagles from the eggshell softening effects of DDT seen in many other bird species. However, they have been observed with high levels of lead in their blood because they'll opportunistically consume carcasses left riddled with hunter's bullets. Golden eagles have also been pursued by humans because they're thought to be a menace to livestock, but research has shown that these birds rarely take livestock as prey items. They'd rather eat rabbits. In Greek mythology, the golden eagle is seen as Zeus's companion and messenger. In medieval Europe, they were viewed as royal birds, whose use should be reserved for the king. And Native American tribes often saw golden eagles as the eagle of war, who represented courage in battle. They might be mighty, but they're still burbs. For more facts on golden eagles, check out the links in the description. Give a thumbs up for raptors, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.